GMG Network. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kristen from Game Meets Girl, and I want to show you guys how to use XSplit Broadcaster, not Gamecaster, because I think Broadcaster has a lot more to offer, and with the free version, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. So let's open Broadcaster so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is Broadcaster, right? When you first get it, you first open it, even with the free version, it's going to start with a blank slate, which is fine. Blank is cool. So what all you need to do is add things that you want. So let's add a webcam. Let me add a little Logitech webcam and put it in the corner of your game. However you want to set it up. You can stretch it, make it as big, as small as you want. Right? And then if you're good at graphics, you can make something that looks really awesome. Uh, add some uh, cool media. Right? So I have like a whole folder dedicated just to uh, stuff I made. Right? Uh, just logos and whatnot. So I have one I call Cam Image. I'll put it right next to my cam so it goes over that. So you see, you know, my username, Game Meets Girl. You see my little cool chibi icon, and then you have my cam right in there. Right, I think it looks good. I think it looks pretty cool. You can adjust it, make it whatever size you want. You know, whatever. Mess with it later. Um, then maybe we'll add a cool background or something. So get make sure you have the right size images. Uh, like, where are the properties on this? I can tell you the image size that I have. Oh, great. It doesn't show me at all. Okay, so it's it's the image size of a, a 1080p video. It's 1920 by 1080. So you're going to want to put that in there. This is going to be your cool background. You can drag and drop to the size of your screen. And yeah, you can use these little arrow keys to go up and down. Right? So then you got... Your cool background, your little cam image, uh, you got all your audio and stuff working. Let's say you want to add some cool screen things, right? Well, check it out. So this is like your Twitch chat. Maybe you want to get your Twitch chat in the corner. Um, I have better TTV settings, which I got from nightdev.com. You can do that. Um, I like to pop out my chat. Let's see. Pop out, boom. Right now my chat is all popped out. Okay, so if you open up your tools after you install um, the Night Dev app, your, your Twitch is going to be a little bit different. When you pop it out, you can go to your better TV settings here in the corner and switch it to dark mode, black chat. Right. If you black in the chat, it's going to be a lot easier to chroma key and it'll be thicker text. So you can kind of see everything, right? So check it out. Test. Boom. Test. Now what makes it cool is they add like a, a little glow and all that. And what makes it nice, this is really close to open broadcaster software, is that you can add a screen capture of whatever you want. And I want a screen capture of my chat. So we're going to put the chat right here. The, there you go. There's your chat. Drag it, drop it wherever you want. Boom. Almost done. Now, to chroma key it, if you right click on your window region, your color, color key, eyedrop tool, black, boom. Even when I just hit color key, it already went transparent. It, it's really easy to read compared to a lot of different programs. I tried just copying the chat before and it just didn't work. So, now that we have our cool chat in the window we got to add some stuff like games and whatnot so let's open up a game okay so if you hit alt and enter you can put any full screen game into a window like so making it a, a lot easier to see uh, i have dual monitor so i can flip everything to the side right and play the game on one side and just have everything ready on the other to add your game no matter what the game is game capture, if it's like a legit game, you can detect it here, Fahrenheit, and it'll pop up on your. So select it, here it is. You're not gonna see it because you're not playing the game right now. Once you click on it, you're gonna see it. So you make it a good size, but if you want all the other stuff on top, like a sidebar, just fit it any way you like. So 
I click on my game, you're going to see it pop up over here. And you notice that now my cam and my cool icons are below it, so we're going to change the layering, right, to make sure it fits properly. That looks pretty good. It's pretty decent. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that I learned that you can do here. For example, maybe you want to get one of those cool Twitch alerts thing. Well, if you go to your website, um, twitchalerts.com, right? Get twitchalerts.com, check it out. It's awesome. You can launch it, and what makes it neat is you can add cool things like an alert box. And the alert box already comes on a green screen. So you can add your alerts right to your stream using the chroma key effect that we had before. So you're gonna chroma key it. It's already in green. That's fantastic. Um, let's do a test alert to make sure we got the size right. Well, there you go. See, now you can see that this is following and that looks fantastical. I have custom gifts and stuff like that. So what you're gonna do you're gonna open up your X split. You're gonna add a screen capture. You're going to add whatever part of this window you want, which is pretty much the whole thing except for the top and bottom. There it is in your, your game. Shrink it down, make it as big as you want. Doesn't matter exactly how big. Um, maybe you want it at the top, I don't know. But you're gonna chroma key this out anyway. So when you're playing, you can see this. So, same thing as before, you're going to hit chroma key, and now, with the chroma key, you're going to have it invisible until someone pops up. Alright, so then you're going to have your test uh, pop up, and you'll be able to see what it will look like when someone subscribes to your channel, donates, all that jazz. See? There you go. And that looks great! It's like a big pop-up, you can do whatever you want, add whatever music, gifts, all that jazz. So that's the basics of XSplit Broadcaster. Now that's just how you set up your game frame. Say you want to do something different. Say maybe you want to do just like a webcam. So you can do a webcam only one where you set it up so you can see just a webcam, whatever you want on the screen. Maybe you want to show a video. So you can select videos, put them on your channel, make BRB screens, whatever. Uh, so to do that, select a new scene. You can name your scenes anything you want, by the way. Add uh, a video file from your computer or whatever. Right? I'm going to add my trailer. And stretch it out make it big. So every time you click on that screen, the video will play, from the, uh, play immediately from wherever you left off. So if you look at your media, you can stop it, play it, reverse it, play it again. So if things happen, you can fix it. You can go back to your gameplay whenever you want. Webcam only. The blank one we were working on. I have two webcams, by the way. That's why they look so weird. If you have multiple webcams, you can still do the same thing. Uh, say you want to add both in one screen. Maybe you're doing a comparison video or something. I don't know. Right? And then you're like, which webcam's better? And then, you know, you pick which one you like and, and all that. So, I don't know, there's plenty of things you can do. You can change it up, grab one camera, have a different camera angle, switch them up in between. I think this program is very versatile, and I think this program is very genius. So, go back to your game at any time, keep playing. Um, so far this has been the most versatile program that I have found, that you can do all this stuff for free. If you want to do more things that are crazy like the pros do, you pay for it and it's like 14 bucks a month or for three months or something. And then you know what? That's not really bad. So I hope you guys learned all the cool things. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Of XSplit Broadcaster. And if you liked my tutorial, you should check out my Twitch stream at uh, Twitch tv slash game meets girl 2 um and then you should play that and you'll be like oh my god Kristen has such a cool twitch stream or maybe you guys want to have uh, cool stuff like uh, youtube tutorials for more things about twitch or whatever just go to youtube.com slash game meets girl and i can help you 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. YouTubers, please check out my Twitch. I've been doing it a lot, and I really like it. And I like hanging out with you guys, so... Uh, you should check it out and play games with me. For real. For real. Peace.